Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here on the Iron Man Profile. In today's video, we had an interesting guest come and visit us here on the garden. And he decided to hook us up with a god tier change that will infinitely make our cactus farm better. And uh, I'm really excited for this one. So shout out to who came to visit. You guys will see in a second here. It should be a lot of fun. If you're new here though, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Let's jump right into today's video. It's time to optimize. Super quickly though, if you do find yourself checking on the Hypixel store for any of the brand new Enderman skins, don't forget to use my career code code Zach, the Z-A-C-H, just like my name, to save 5% on checkout. There's also a bunch of sales going on on the Hypixel store over the next month. And if you use code Zach, not only do you get to take advantage of the Hypixel store sales, but you get another 5% off on top of that. It stacks with any ongoing sales. It's a great way to support myself and the channel. And I do greatly appreciate everyone who uses my career code on a regular basis. You guys are seriously amazing. But without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. So since last episode, I've been busy. I've been reading through some comments and three plots for my cactus farm is most definitely needed. Not to mention, I had a certain someone come and visit me by the name of Statistics. And um, basically, he gave me some tips for anyone who doesn't know who he is. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his uh, cactus collection for anyone wondering. It's three billion. Pretty sure he's number one in cactus collection, which is... um. He knows a thing or two about this crop and how to farm it efficiently. And so he gave me a bunch of pointers that I thought I would relate to you guys. So basically, now I have three three full plots of cactus. And uh, we still have our trap doors at the end. That was good. However, on one side of them, he told me if I delete the dirt block that I had holding up the trap door, it actually allows you to place two more things of cactus, uh, which ends up being quite a few more uh, crops per like time farming. And so we went ahead and did that. And uh, yeah, so that adds like... A decent amount per row i mean an extra two over like all over the place so that should be super helpful and then also he taught me another kind of interesting trick if you go ahead and swap to your black cat pet and you grab out your rancher boots and you go ahead and set the speed you can set it to uh 500 because you the black cat allows you to increase your speed by 100 and so if you set it to 464 which seems to be the magic number for cactus as he's been telling me and then you go ahead and change back to whatever pet you want. You still have your rancher boots set on that increased speed. I'm um, asking if this is allowed from time to you. Hopefully it gets back to me soon. Hopefully it is. I'm not trying to break no bugs, but it seems to be like uh, kind of these unspoken things that everyone's doing. So whether it gets patched or not, I don't know. Uh, I'm asking though, because, you know, it's worth asking. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and test this out. I did a contest earlier and got gold, which was nice, but... We are here to get some gold medals, okay? We want better than gold. I also need to get my Turbo Cactus 4 up to a Turbo Cactus 5. I need to get Recom on this thing. We have a lot of work to do for Cactus. And I did also go up a Crop Milestone in the crop earlier, which was super nice. And uh, yeah, farmed a little bit since then. So yeah, we're slowly making our way up. We have a long way to go. We're only 4% of the way till Max Cactus. So a lot of Cactus ahead of us. So that was very nice of the number one Cactus Farmer to come and give our farm some tips. And so far, it's been going really well. There's also a Cactus Contest that starts in 7 minutes. Unfortunately, I don't have the Anita's Artifact buff on it. But I'm still going to donate some pests and do my best to get something decent in that contest. Because ultimately, it will result in me getting more fortune by getting a better personal best obviously i wish i had turbo cactus 5 so it won't be our best performance but something that i wanted to show you guys that i think is pretty cool is for example see on the bottom of my cactus knife it says cultivated crops 5.5 million out of 20 million that's pretty cool and all let's go ahead and take a look at statistics if we go into his ender chest here was it oh no sorry it's in his, one of his backpacks um if we go and find his um cactus knife right here at the bottom, if you look at cultivated crops, it says negative 1.7 billion out of zero. Uh, that's how much he is over integer limit for uh, cactus collected with this cactus knife. Bro has been using the same cactus knife for a minute, uh, to say the least. So, mad respect. Bro's been going ham with this thing. And, um, yeah, I mean, 3 billion cactus is insane. Literally. That's a crazy amount. Not to mention, I'm rounding it up to 3 billion. 82 million cactus is how far from max uh like on garden yeah 82 million is uh over 60 percent of the way to max cactus and that's just what he has extra on top of three billion okay if you were to go ahead and uh if we take three billion here and we divide by 128 million that is the same as maxing uh cactus milestone nearly 20 over 23 times 
a lot of cactus, man. That's a lot of cactus. I'm currently 5% of the way to maxing cactus, so kind of wild. Either way, uh, I actually have 6.5k um, copper again, so it's time for us to go ahead and do another tier 9 crop upgrade. Last time we did sugar cane, and uh, now we have to decide which one we don't want to do here. Um, honestly, let's just show cactus some love. I'm probably never going to do this again. And I mean, we got max them all. It's only an extra five fortune, but it all adds up. So let's go ahead and get cactus nine. Why don't we? Plus one skyblock XP. Don't mind if I do. But um, yeah, I'm going to get ready for the contest. I wish I had a, a recom on this thing and turbo cactus five and whatnot, but can't have everything. Can't have everything, I guess, and uh, we at least it's always nice to have something to work towards. So that's definitely something to work towards. I also have a pest that's being pesty somewhere. Hey, buddy. Mr. Rat, how you doing? Good to see you. There we go. Beautiful. Let me get ready for this contest. That was a very successful farming contest. I'm going to be honest, there was a scary point where I had a fourth pest spawn, and I had to go track one down because I didn't want to lose down 5%, and... I was back down to platinum, but we ended up fighting our way back into diamond. There we go. 729,000 collected. Way better than my old personal best. This old personal best was with two plots instead of three. I think that's all you really need to know. I didn't make any changes to my hoe. Literally only changes to my farm. So that kind of says a lot. I did also increase my speed to 464 instead of 400. And uh, yeah, big changes all around. Yeah, we got we placed in diamond though, which is amazing. And our new, um, how much are we actually getting extra cactus farming fortune from our personal best with Anita? We go and look, now we're getting 36.46 extra farming fortune uh, for cactus. So that is a lot better than it was before, I'm not going to lie. Quite happy about that. We should have a diamond metal to claim. Don't mind if we do, if we go and look at Anita now. That is our fifth unique diamond. Uh, so we still need to do cocoa beans, which shouldn't be too hard with our new farm. I'm actually pretty excited for that one. Carrot, I've only done one contest really, and I got really unlucky and got platinum. And we have melon, mushroom, and uh, pumpkin. So yeah, those three we honestly need to build new farms for if I want to have a chance of being competitive in. Either way, I'm really happy with that. So uh, that went quite well. I'm going to go ahead and take care of uh, all the visitors here. They all, they all want stuff I uh, don't have, which is always... Always good fun. Man, I need to farm more pumpkins. Man, I'm running out of, every, out of everything. Everything's just falling apart. So I'm over at Statistics Island, who is the number one cactus farmer. And uh, as you can see, he's gotten a little all out with the cactus farm, um, which is safe to say. I mean, if this is the only crop I, I farmed, I would literally cover my whole garden with it, right? But something that he brought up the other day that I kind of wanted to see if he was implementing is planting a row on top of these like sand blocks at the end which is really interesting uh it ends up being an extra crop except for obviously when you're farming it you break the bottom so you have to replant it every single time which is very tedious but uh he said if you're ever going for like a p a new pb um like you're trying to get a better score obviously then it might actually be worth it and so yeah that's definitely something to think about um basically how it would work is let's say i come to the end of this row, uh, or wait, it, it would actually be on the other side. Let's go down to the other end here. Basically, we work our way down this row here. As we come here, on top of this block would be cactus. So you break it, and you keep on going, obviously, and that, this block would have to be sand, obviously. But it's it's a way to add, like, I mean, another, like, 30-something uh, extra stems, I guess you could say, of cactus, which is definitely interesting for a PB. So if you find yourself building this farm... Um, that's just another tip from the number one cactus farmer on the server and uh, definitely something to think about if I ever want to go for like a sweaty PB but obviously it's not really worth my time until I have like a recom on this thing. Uh, Turbo Cacti 5 is definitely a necessity. I joined in late to a cactus contest early this morning. Um, it is now the next morning from that last contest. So I should have a, a Turbo Cactus book to claim but I think I need um, a few more Turbo Cactus books before... I can actually upgrade this thing to Turbo Cacti 5. Also, quite recently, our slug pet here finally reached level 100, which is amazing. I think I already claimed the Skyblock XP for it, but let me put that back in the Skyblock menu just in case. You never really know. But yeah, this thing's great. Um, however, currently I have a epic farming XP boost on it, which isn't really going to do me any good. And if I'm using this and farming, trying to spawn pets, the more fortune, the better. I mean, I'm, I'm taking a bit of a decrease by using the slug pet over like a mushroom cow or an elephant, obviously, because it gives you less fortune, but obviously way more pest chance, which is why you use it. And uh, I do actually have a third green bandana here. I currently have a green bandana on my mushroom cow as well as my elephant. 
And I think we should put one on my slug. This is like the only other farming pet you'll ever catch me farming with. So it kind of makes sense to slap a green bandana on it, especially because I have an extra one. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, those are two expensive uh, pet items that we're, we're writing over one of them. But there we go. So uh, yeah, I wish I'd paid attention to how much farming fortune that was before, but it should give me an extra, um, how much extra? 60 extra farming fortune, which honestly really adds up. So I will happily take that. Don't mind if we do. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go spray some plots and uh, farm with this bad boy out for a while because it's time to grind out some pests. Ooh, rat 12. Also, I had six pests on my garden. I just killed a rat. There's another rat. Look at all the rats over here. Swavy, get off my island, bruh. Okay, there's three. Oh my, are they just all rats? What? I sprayed tasty cheese, but like, there's mites too, man. Like, and usually like some other ones, six for, oh, okay. One mite, five rats. My goodness. Ooh, there we go. Mite 12 as well. Jeez. Okay, so that's 80 for each of those. Uh, I'm at 84 rats and we're at 80 mites, 85 mosquitoes. Some of these are really starting to uh, get up there. 66 earthworms. And we're starting to climb up in some of these. Some of them not so much. I'm gonna, not going to lie. But we mainly need crickets. But honey jars are just so brutal to get. Like, how many honey jars do I get? I think I've used one ever. And in total, I've got nine in total. I guess I could do a, a round of spraying down. Um, I could spray honey jars for a round and then make sure I actually swap to proper farming fortune when I go to kill them so that hopefully we get the stereo but yeah I mean still that was a lot of rats man another successful cactus contest this time I had the plus 25 uh cactus fortune from Anita however pests are brutal for cactus and sugarcane for those of you who don't know by the way I'm assuming this is public knowledge now I've been told multiple times by some people and kind of figured it out myself when grinding pests in my sugarcane farm uh, cactus and sugarcane actually produce more pets. I think it's just because there's more block breaks. I, I don't know, like, how that works exactly, because, I mean, it's it's too tall, like, I get that whole point, but I don't know how, like, the pest decides when to spawn and all that good stuff, but, yeah, you definitely get way more. Um, yeah, and while I had my mushroom cow out and all that stuff, I had, how many pests spawned in total? I think I had five pests spawned in total over the course of the contest. I had to kill two. So that was a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. We still got our diamond and also some, some visitors pulling up. Uh, I don't have a melon farm, sorry. Burger cane, sure. Enchanted cactus, I can make you that in just a second. Take my pumpkin and let's go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, just like so. And beautiful. I love that we're starting to get like all the farms down. Like right now, melons really holding me back. Um, so I need to build a melon farm. Maybe that's my next one. I build like a melon and a pumpkin farm. But, uh, yeah, pretty happy about that. Let me go ahead and dump some stuff into the composter. I'm kind of just taking you guys along what I do after every contest, I guess you could say. We'll go ahead and buy some more biofuel. Let's buy 20. Don't mind if we do. Slap that in there. That'll last a good bit. Beautiful. Either way, Jacob, I did get a new personal best. Barely. Okay, barely. My old personal best was 729. This time I got 736. Those pests were definitely an inconvenience, to say the least. But the good news is that uh, Diamond was 690k. Diamond was 7... Oh my god, I was the Diamond cutoff that last time. But this time, not so much. And yeah, this contest last night, by the way, there was like 250 people in the Cactus contest. This one, I think, had like 500-something. So it was a little bit more populated. But yeah, there's like no one doing Cactus contests, which is pretty funny. So no complaints. Usually it means it's easier for me, sometimes harder. It's a little bit of a mix. But either way... I need to do one more cactus contest, and I can finally upgrade this thing to Turbo Cacti 5, and my next recom is going on this bad boy. I need to show it some love, because uh, as we start progressing through cactus, I'm, I'm just kind of griefing by not having a recom on this thing. And as you can see, I actually did go up a milestone earlier, and we're almost at the next one, which is kind of insane. Yeah, about 20 minutes away from that, and uh, overall, just progressing really well. Uh, the farm's so much better, not to mention the speed by using Black Cat Pet and switching over. Uh, so shout out to statistics for hooking me up with a goaded cactus farm now This thing's been perfect. Yeah, I have a lot more cactus to grind I want to get back on my cocoa bean grind as well and some of the other plot crops because I'm starting to run low on some of them for visitors like carrots. I'm getting pretty low on Potatoes I'm literally out of so uh, yeah, I have some other crops. I need to uh, Show some attention to even wheat. I guess you could say Jeez, Yeah, okay. I have a lot of farming to do either way 
progress is progress and uh we'll take it we're in a good spot for cactus now where i can keep getting diamonds and overall just um progress really well to hopefully max a milestone eventually and as you can see in total we're 6.8% of the way there. We got a long way to go. I think that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying the garden content. Or if you want to see something else, make sure you let me know. Thank you so much for watching though. Don't forget to use code Zach on the Hypixel store. It means the world to me. Join my Discord. Without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.